Hello gorgeous, today I am putting baby oil to the test. So you guys may have seen already, I recently did a video on keeping castor oil and coconut oil in my hair for 24 hours, but I've never tried baby oil. And baby oil has been said to do amazing things for the hair, so I thought I would put it to the test and keep it in my hair for a full 24 hours before removing it and seeing the end result. So stay tuned to see if this is my favorite or worst hair treatment I have done yet. Beginning off with my hair, it was looking quite rough. It was definitely super, super dry and there wasn't really much shine to it. So I was long overdue for a nice hair treatment. Before I went ahead and applied the baby oil into my hair, I just brushed my hair out. I always like to brush my hair out first before applying anything so that my hair is not all knotted. By brushing out your hair before you put a treatment and also before going into the shower, it will get rid of those knots so that you don't lose as much hair when you do shower. But once I brushed out my hair, this is how it looked. Definitely a lot more frizzier. You can see how dry it is and how many split ends I have. And there's not really much shine to it. Now it is time to apply the baby oil into my hair. I will link down some below for you guys in my description box, but I feel like a lot of people don't think to use baby oil as a hair treatment, but it is actually been said to have a lot of hair benefits. It's gentle, there's no harsh chemicals, and it's very inexpensive, which is so amazing. It's an excellent moisturizer. It softens the hair while adding shine, and as well as it has said to help with making your hair less frizzy, which is definitely something I deal with a lot. And I'm always looking for products and things that are going to help with frizzy hair. It's also been said to help grow your hair longer and faster, which I will put it to the test and helps with split ends. Although it is just one day, you can really tell a difference in your hair and just putting a treatment in for 24 hours and whether it's going to work or not work. So I'm excited to see how well I like the results, but all you do is gently distribute the baby oil all over the hair. I put it all the way from my roots to the bottom. And I also always like to gently massage massage to stimulate the scalp and increase circulation. The oil really moisturizes the hair shaft, which will greatly reduce breakage. And it is best for people who have dry to normal hair. If you have oily hair, it is recommended that you use this more on the ends of the hair as opposed to applying it to the scalp. So if that is your case, then the treatment is better just for the ends. But I have to say the consistency of the baby oil made it really easy to apply into my hair. It's definitely a lot more liquidy than the castor oil and the coconut oil so it was a lot easier to evenly distribute it throughout my hair once I did that I always like to throw out my hair in a low bun and put on a shower cap and I recently switched over to using this as my shower cap as opposed to the hair turban as you can see it has stretchy elastic and it really secures your hair cap it does not budge and that is one thing you have to be careful about whenever you use any sort of overnight treatment you want to make sure your hair cap or whatever you're using stays in place because if it comes undone while you're sleeping, your bed sheets and your pillowcases are going to be ruined by the oil. So that's just a little FYI. So find something that tightly secures and does not budge when you are sleeping. But now it has been a whole 24 hours later. And as you can see, this is how my hair looks. Of course, it just looks super greasy. You could still see the baby oil in my hair. But before I go ahead and wash the oil out, I I just like to gently comb out my hair starting from the bottoms up. Like I said, whenever I jump into the shower, I just like to make sure my hair is not tangly. If it is, I just lose so much hair fall in the shower and we definitely don't want that. I also did a whole video about how to reduce hair loss in the shower. So I will link that video above and also have my DIY and hacks playlist in the description box for you guys because I have a ton of like hair tips and tricks in those videos as well. But of course it is now time to wash my hair out and I actually used a different shampoo for this. At first I really thought I didn't like the treatment because I had to go back in the shower twice to shampoo it and I switched over to using this shampoo which is one of my favorites. It's the Matrix Biolage Volume Bloom Shampoo. It smells amazing 
and it gets rid of everything in your hair and it also gives your hair that volume. But every time I use this shampoo, I feel like I just came out of a salon because it just smells like you got your hair done at a salon. So I totally recommend it. I will link it down below for you guys. They do also have the matching conditioner, which is also what I use. So I totally recommend that as well. I like to use the set, but you guys know I love Matrix Biolash products. I've been using them for years and they are definitely my favorite hair products that I like to use. I just went ahead and shampooed my hair a few times. You definitely have to make sure you get the baby oil out. And why I really like the shampoo is the baby oil scent I noticed is really strong. The shampoo really helped mask that and I did not smell it at all once I went in with the shampoo because at first I was using a different shampoo and it just did not do well with my hair. I went back in with the shampoo and made sure I got all the baby oil out so you definitely can't just shampoo your hair once because your hair is just going to look greasy once you get out of the shower. But once it was completely out and I followed it up with the conditioner at the ends of my hair, I just went ahead and styled my hair as normal. And I have to say, these are my favorite results yet, which is crazy because I thought I was going to hate this one just because when I first got out of the shower, I didn't like it. But then it ended up being my favorite hair treatment. As you can see, my hair looks extremely long and I swear where my hair looks like it grew longer. It is so, so long, so shiny, not frizzy at all. It is so moisturized. It just feels the softest ever. As you can see, it's so easy to run my fingers through my hair and it just looks shiny all over. I just kept touching my hair all the time, which is probably I shouldn't be doing, especially on the roots. Your hair is just gonna look greasy but my hair never felt so soft and also has never been so long. So it's crazy what just a little bit of baby oil did in one treatment. Of course, I would use this more as like a weekly mask or once a month or whatever you want. I wouldn't use this every single time you shower, of course. I usually just use these masks once a week or once every other week. But as you can tell, there is really no frizz in my hair as well, which is something that happens a lot and is very hard to get rid of with my hair and I totally recommend it. Like I said, I will leave any products I use down below, the baby oil and my shampoo and conditioner, but those are the products I used. I used nothing else in my hair. I didn't use any oils after, nothing. I like to just test out the product and not put anything else in my hair to really see the true results and those were the results. The only negative I have to give it is the scent, but once I went in with the shampoo I used, it completely got rid of the scent, but it definitely was a lot harder to get rid of, so it is very potent. But other than that, the results turned out amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and share it. It really helps me out. Let me know what you wanna see next for these 24 hour treatments. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I do upload every single week. I will link the other treatments I've done, the castor oil and the coconut oil in the description box and at the end of this video. But on that note, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.